Good morning guys, Jim Squares here bringing you some advanced money solutions around the HSA and Roth planning techniques. Uh, but first, make sure you like and subscribe down below, share with others so we can all learn and get to know, keep more of our money and make the most of it. Now, uh, I'm going to be first going into the HSA, which is a pretty cool tool. So, um, the HSA is it's used to fund medical expenses. So it's taken pre-tax. So what happens is your company pays you, and then you can say, hey, put it in the HSA, and it goes directly in the HSA. No taxing, no watching of anything. Um, and it sits in an account, and it grows tax-free, and the withdrawals are not taxed, assuming they're for medical expenses. So things like medical expenses that get funded by HSA are you know, your medical, dental, prescription, vision, uh, Medicare premiums, COBRA premiums, long-term care premiums, but the thing you need to make sure is if you need to save your receipts. Remember, to save your receipts, because we'll come back to that. Um, and the cool thing about the HSA is you can actually save your receipts. So let's take an example. I put $1,000 in my HSA this year, and then I get $1,000 worth of medical bills. But if, since I can hopefully afford to pay for my medical bills today and not take it out of the HSA, you should be maximizing your contribution to your HSA and that way that money will grow and it will grow tax-free now i will pay that money out of the money i have now which is taxed so i have no choice in what the, all the other money i get it gets taxed by the government and um, then later on i can actually use that receipt from this year i could use it 10 years from now and i go well, hey give me that thousand bucks and they'll give it to me tax-free and if i have a whole bunch of other medical expenses that have that i did not fund by putting money in but it was funded by the growth I get that tax-free money too. So that's what's really cool, is you're better off letting this grow. So um, like a quick, and then a quick one-time way to fund the HSA too, is you can transfer money from your IRA into your HSA. And it's not technically a rollover because it counts towards your annual HSA contribution limit, which changes every year. I think this year for families, it's $7,000 if I recall. But it allows you to move a small amount of money from your IRA to your uh, HSA if you need it for medical expenses. Now, if you have excess HSA funds, the withdrawals are taxed like a traditional IRA. So think of a traditional IRA where you put in money and then you take it out early, then you get taxed on it. Um, just when you take it out early. But you also get, yes, you, you get taxed on it when you take it out early. Now the HSA, you put it in tax-free, so that's free, and you can normally take it out tax-free, assuming you have a receipt. So just remember that. Now, ideally, what well, here's how I'm going to be using my HSA is my first little money the goal is to let that money grow for as long as I can, like 20 years if I can, uh, till retirement. So whatever that might be, 65, 70, 55, probably 65 if I had to guess, uh, maybe sooner, but uh, to let it grow. Because then what will happen is then I can take all the receipts I've been saving and I could go, hey, pay me back for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan them all in. So I don't have the whole big old pile of papers because you have to do it all online anyway to get your money out of the HSA. So if you just scan it in and keep a method like a Google Drive folder or I would say Google Photos, but that's on the way out. So you don't want to use that because that's eventually going to cost you something. When I find out a good cost effective photo thing, I'll let you know. But for now, I don't have one. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put in money now. I'm going to pay for it with this other money that I get tax free. And then this money will grow bigger and bigger. And so I won't pay money. I won't pay taxes on it going in. I won't pay the max taxes on it coming out because I'll use it for medical expenses. And um, so that's like the best of all the tools. So now if you think about, um, you know, if we'll, we'll turn it over to a Roth now. A Roth is really funded for retirement expenses. And it's after tax money, but it grows tax free. So it's similar to the HSA, except it gets taxed right before. And um, the withdrawals are not taxed. So that's the that's a pretty cool thing about the Roth, but the HSA takes it one step further where it's there's no tax in the front, the growth isn't taxed, and then when you take it out, there's no tax, assuming it's for medical. And we all know we'll have tons of medical somewhere along the line. So your question probably in your head is, what do I fund first, Jim? I have all these accounts. So here's my, this is my up-to-date solution for this. The first thing is any matching 401k. If you have a big employer and they give you like 50 cents to the dollar, you're earning 50%. You're not getting that anywhere else. So unless you can make that kind of money with uh, contributions to anything, you probably can't. Uh, do the 50 cents of the dollar. So first, match your 401k. Second, it's your HSA. Because if you have emergency medical expenses, you're going to be funded that way. 
So that makes sense. Yeah, and, it, and it's pre-taxed. And it's, it's not taxed. So that's the cool thing, is it's not taxed when you put it in, and it doesn't grow taxed, and you take it out, it's not taxed, as long as you use it for medical. So that's that's like the best out of any tool there is available. Then I would, so first, matching 401k. Second, HSA. Third, Roth IRA, because you can withdraw those contributions tax-free for an emergency, which I said before in one of my old videos. I'll probably put a link at the end. And um, the other thing about the Roth IRA is it grows, and then you could you're not you don't have to take it out at any certain age. So you could be 80, and then you could start taking contributions. You could be 65. So it depends on whatever it is. But that's the best thing about a Roth is it doesn't you're not required. Where in a traditional IRA or a 401k traditional, not a Roth 401k. So I'll say a Roth IRA and Roth 401k are virtually the same. The Roth IRA gives you more options because you can choose what you want to do. But if you're not into choosing then it doesn't matter. Just do the Roth 401k or Roth IRA. Um, but then after the Roth IRA or 401k, then you go to the traditional IRA or traditional 401k, which most people just say 401k. Most people don't know that they have a Roth 401k. Uh, it's just not something that you, people really get interested in. But that's that's my four steps. So Magic 401k, HSA, Roth IRA or 401k, and then traditional IRA or 401k basic, like the base. So that's what I, that's essentially that, that's the method of funding things to make out the most for your money. Cause you're getting tons of money for the first one right away. The second one, you're getting awesome tax benefits. And then the third one is you get a little bit more flexibility cause you can take out with the withdrawals for an emergency. And then the last one is truly for long-term planning. So now some other people complain and say, no, you can't use the matching 401k money. You actually can. So you get 50 cents back, and then you hit, let's say you have to pay a 10% penalty for taking it out early, but you already made 50% on it, so you're already coming out ahead. So why wouldn't you do that? That makes no sense. So you don't you want to leave that money on the table. It's just crazy. Now, if you want to learn more about building a large legacy, I recommend my video on four ways to find 50 million. Soon, I will be coming out with a video around legacy planning. So keep out, keep your eye out for that one. Make sure we keep growing together. And if you have other comments or plans on you, how you, would you do this differently? What is your thought process? Because let's let's get it out there so we can all know what we do. So share this with others, like and subscribe, take care, and we'll be talking later.